Hey, hey, it's Mr. Ruthia with part three. And that didn't work at all. Gee whiz. Let's try again. <laughs> you guys ever see Monsters, Inc.? I really like Mikey. He's pretty awesome. So uh, <clears throat> take, uh, take Mike's advice and follow the sultry sound of my voice. Okay. We are had just talked about creating an associate name table okay and um, so let's do that let's create a new table so I'm gonna go to the third tab up here the one that says create and I'm gonna choose table and again I don't like starting in data sheet view so I'm gonna switch to design view and it's gonna ask me what I want to call it Let's call it employee underscore directory name. Okay, that seems like a real reasonable uh, name for it. And we're going to have, this is going to be a little one, it's only going to have a couple of fields. The first field, I'm going to call the employee ah, e underscore name oh let's get rid of this again let's not deal with primary keys yet let's just uh, okay so employee name and that's going to be short text and then the second field I'm going to put in is the employee ID now when I created the, the ticket taker ID I used an auto number this time I am going to use a uh, short text because maybe I don't want the numbers to be just sequential numbers one two three four five six uh, maybe I want them to have you know something else in them so I'm just going to do short text on that one okay very nice let's save this and let's put some employees in okay that was the wrong button I'm going to click on view sorry I clicked on file instead of view and I'm going to go back to data sheet view and let's put a few employees in. Okay, the first employee will be Leon Kennedy. And let's just say EMP001. I just hit enter. And then next we'll put in Barry Burton, EMP002. Hit enter. And third, we will have Jill Valentine. And she's going to be employee three. Ooh, very nice, very nice, very nice. Uh, now notice, I want you to notice, you actually, you don't notice this, but let me tell you what happens. When you put data into a table, you don't have to save the table after you do it. It automatically saves the data. But if I go in and I alter the table in some way, like I make it wider or something like that, then I have to go in and save the table. Okay. Now, let's close this table. And you can see right here, actually, can you see it? See it says employee directory name. There's a little tiny X. I'm going to click on that, and that's going to close that table. All right, now I am back to my lovely ticket tracker table. And what I want to do is link associate name to the table. Okay, so let's link these tables together. <laughs> oh, I went to see uh, I went to see Bad Boys Forever last night at the movies. Oh my gosh, it was fabulous. They, they have such a weird way of the bad boy franchise has this very strange way of making movies they look it feels like the movie's over and then a, a second ending of the movie starts and then they go and do a, a last thing so i kind of like the way they do it okay uh sorry <coughs> i'm back here all right so we're gonna go to design view because I want to see the data type here and I want to look at uh, what kind of data type it is and this is how I'm going to link to the table so let's go down to associate name 
and on the data type. Okay, and we are going to do another uh, wizard. So I'm going to click on the drop down and go down to lookup wizard. And as some of you might have suspected, this is a teaching moment here, I'm showing you instead of using the second one, we're going to use the first one. The first one says, I want to look up field to get the values from another table. Hey, that's what I want to do. Okay, so I choose that first one. Next. And where is this mysterious table? Well, it's the employee directory name table. Okay, I'm going to say next. And what field do I want to connect to? it? Well, I've got employee name and I've got employee ID. I think the name is much more uh, useful to see. So let's click on name and click on that little single arrow and it brings it over. That looks nice, right? Hit next. Okay, what sort of order do you want for the item in the list box? Uh, let's see. Well, there's only one thing to sort by is the name, so the names will get you know, sorted alphabetically, whatever, nice. Okay, next. How wide would you like the columns in your lookup fields? Um, you know, there's your width. If you wanted to make it a little wider, you could do that. Next. And what label would you like for your lookup? And associate name is fine. And I'm going to ignore this thing. I don't need multiple values. I'm going to hit the finish button. Hitting the finish button is so weird. I wish there was like a Swedish button instead to hit. Or a Norwegian button. It's always the finish button. Haha, ha, you're supposed to laugh there. Uh, the table must now be saved. All right, let's save it. And uh, before a relationship can be created, aw, it's just like high school. You've got these tables and they're creating relationships with one another. Isn't that nice? Yeah, sure. Sure, Mr. Ruthier. Thanks for uh, telling us poor humor. Okay, so we are now saved. Let's go back to the datasheet view. And you can see here, if I look at um, one of these records, for example, Leon Kennedy, and I hit the drop, there's a drop down box now. And I've got Barry and Jill and Leon. Isn't that great? Maybe I'll make this box a little bit wider. And maybe the incident date can be a little shorter. I'll just play with these fields a little bit. All right, let's save again. Okay, um, so you can see that both of these are drop down arrows. Okay, we've got a drop down arrow here, drop down arrow here, but they're different. This one is just a simple list, um, and this one is a table. Um, the reason we did em the employees, the associates, as tables is because, you know, we might have a bunch of tables connecting to this. Um, and the associate name is going to be an important um, thing. And we don't want to be typing in the associate names uh, and make, making like a list every single time we want to do this. this that, and, and when data changes, you want to make sure it's on a table. Okay, if it's real static, then, then we don't care about that. Okay, did we save it? All right, so there we go. And um, cool, we finished lesson three. Uh, pat yourself on the back there and uh, while I turn this off.